YouTube, YouTube, how everyone doing? I hope y'all been doing well. Take care of your family and watching out for each other. Okay, this case is of um, Jeremy Robinson. He was shot, they say, 59 times, but the autopsy says 75 times. Now, they said he had a gun. There's a little clip of that, talking about that, but it was no gun found. He was an unarmed young man in the college, most likely a football player. And I'm just trying to wrap my mind around, around how it is a lot of young black college students are getting killed. I don't care. White, black, Indians, Chinese, Japanese, whatever race you are. No one deserved to get shot that many times. And why would you shoot them that many times? It doesn't make any sense at all how many times he was shot. And then with it being in Atlanta, that's where this happened at. So I'm like, this don't make it. I put the clips in there so you can see and you can go for it. You can go and look it up for yourself. Six years, nothing. Six years, and they just now getting indicted after six years. It's a big question. Did more people get cut, killed by these same cops? Because in Atlanta, you know it's a lot of violence. You know it's a lot of shootings by cops. So, <clears throat> this just don't make any sense at all. I mean, goes to tell you start if the media won't air it if the police won't talk about it you talk about it you talk about it until you can't talk about it no more hopefully they get it because they indicted hopefully they get life in prison without a possible parole because it's the whole thing is just ridiculous and it's not making any sense how this young man First video.
This is a picture of the autopsy where they noted where he got shot at right here. And you tell me. Look at look at that right here. 75 times. He got shot 75 times. And what all of them keep saying five keep saying 59 and stuff like that before the autopsy even got there. So they knew it was a whole bunch of times he got shot. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Now, hopefully they'll go to jail and won't get the hell out. They should have been arrested anyway. We gotta wait. They waited. She had been fighting for her son for six whole years before they even, even indicted them. They just got indicted. Tonight, we have new details on the case surrounding Jamarian Robinson, a man who was shot to death by police. Robinson was shot 59 times during a federal task force operation in 2016. Right now, a federal judge is hearing arguments related to the case against two officers who were eventually indicted for murder in Robinson's death. Attorneys for the officers are arguing that they are entitled to federal immunity provisions, something Jamarian's mother called into question at a news conference this morning. If these officers are granted immunity, that makes everything that I did, but actually they get away with murder. That's period. That's it. These officers, if they are granted immunity, they get away with murder. And we cannot let that happen in the city of Atlanta, Georgia. Point in 26. Today, two law enforcement officers charged in the shooting death of Jamari and Robinson pled not guilty. 26-year-old was shot dozens of times during a federal raid in East Point in 2016. U.S. Marshal Eric Hines and Clayton County Police Officer Christopher Hutchins face multiple charges, including felony murder. Fox News Anjali Proctor has details on their Fulton County court appearance. Monteria Robinson has been relentless in her fight for justice for her son Jamarian for almost six years. She says she was very encouraged today when the judge finally set a trial date in the case. We're long overdue. We've been waiting for six years. Monteria Robinson says Tuesday's arraignment and plea hearing was the first step in what has been a long road to justice. Members of the U.S. Marshall Southeastern Regional Task Force shot Jamarian Robinson 59 times while trying to arrest him on arson charges. It happened at his girlfriend's East Point apartment back in August of 2016. Almost six years later, U.S. Marshal Eric Hines and Clayton County Police Officer Christopher Hutchins were finally charged with his shooting death. A third officer who shot Jamarian has since died. His mother says time has not healed her broken heart. We're still struggling, you know, with the loss of my son Jamarian Robinson because as most of you know, he was my firstborn son. Uh, he was the first grandchild. Uh, so he was like all of our babies. I'm just going to go ahead and shut it. 
set for for uh, for trial on that on on uh, September the 12th. Both officers pleaded not guilty to felony murder, violation of oath of office, and other charges during a virtual hearing, as the judge set the trial date for September. Ms. Robinson and her family believe other officers on this scene should be held accountable. Well, they were aware that my son suffered from a mental illness, you know, so we want all of those that were present that day, you know, charged as well, no matter what part they played. Somebody handcuffed him, drug him down the stairs. This mom and her family say they will not rest until they hear the word guilty. I hope that, you know, the judicial system make an example out of them to show that the state of Georgia would no longer tolerate police brutality, police terrorism, and excessive force. All eyes are on Georgia at the moment. Attorneys for the officer filed a request to move this case to federal court. Court documents indicate if they do that, they will likely seek immunity. That request has not yet been ruled on. In downtown Atlanta, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. Ready to bring your brand into the real world? Shopify is ready for that too. With a retail... Oh. Really? Police out here shoe folks, y'all. In the oh house. Oh my gosh, Jesus Christ. This is fucking crazy. So they come over here shooting. Oh, he got a gun. That's why they shooting at his dumb ass. Throw the gun down, son. Come out. Throw it down. What the fuck? Then they got, then they got the Why is he talking so loud? They can't do shit to us. You don't watch the fucking news, Kelsey? They, they can't do Carry your ass. Keep coming in the house, because you're going to get me shot. He's shooting out with no folk. That boy shooting out with no folk. I'm going to put this on my Instagram. I got the first video. That's crazy. Come on. Over here. You hitting the gunshots? Oh my god. You don't hit the Oh my god. Mama, I'm looking right. Andy, they don't bust any. They don't want us. I just told your ass they don't give a fuck. See how crazy the 12 is, bro? They out here shooting in this motherfucking apartment complex. In the house. Shooting in the damn house. In the damn house, dog. Look at the fake police over here hiding behind the car. What is you doing, ma'am? The action is in the building, ma'am. the charges 11 lives joe hankey spoke to his 
New details this morning in the murder of Jamarian Robinson, who was shot more than 50 times by law enforcement. A U.S. Marshal and Clayton County police officer both pleading not guilty to the charges. 11 Lives Joe Hankey spoke to his mother after the plea hearing. The state of Georgia versus Eric Heinz. And position number four, the state of Georgia versus Christopher Hutchins. Marshal Eric Hines and Clayton County Officer Christopher Hutchins appeared in court for the first time. time Both now. remained silent as their attorneys entered silent their not guilty pleas, and the judge scheduled for a jury to hear the case. Uh, Monteria Robinson, Jamarian Robinson's mother, says the trial would begin more than six years after her son's death. Following years of waiting, she is relieved to have this case now in a courtroom, but is still struggling with the loss of her son. It re-triggers the anxiety, the stress, the depression, so on and so forth. So if you ask me if I'm good, no, I'm not good. You know, I do want a conviction so I can put this behind me. In October, a grand jury indicted Hines and Hutchins, charging them with felony murder and several other charges for the killing of Jamarian Robinson. Days later, Hines and Hutchins turned themselves in, only spending an hour in jail and then walking out after receiving $50,000 bonds. Sources with the U.S. Marshals Service and Clayton County Police confirm both officers have been placed on administrative duty until this case is resolved. The officers were part of a federal task force in September of 2016, attempting to arrest Robinson on outstanding warrants. At the time, the marshals reported Robinson had a gun. He would be shot 59 times, leaving him with 76 gunshot wounds for a medical examiner's report. At the time, federal policy did not allow the task force to wear body cameras, but someone nearby recorded cell phone video which captured audio of nearly three minutes of gunfire. A private detective the family hired uncovered evidence of gunshots straight into the ground where Robinson's body was lying. Monteria Robinson is ready to hear the evidence in the case come out in court. I knew as long as I kept, you know, being aggressive and, you know, kept, you know, on the DA that we would eventually be here. It'll be a long process moving ahead for Jamarian's family. The Fulton County judge says the September trial date could change as needed. Last year, attorneys for the officers requested this case be moved to federal court where court records show they would attempt to seek immunity for their actions as federal officers. Prosecutors